Cliff had saved my life. Like, I can't even tell you how many times. I can't even tell you how many times. Like, I wouldn't even want to open up my Bible because I feel like I feel like I'm uh, like I'm the Pharisee. Like I'm the guy that when God sees, He's like, "Yo, you love me with your lips, but you're so far away from me with your heart." Man. And then you read me a letter that Paul wrote that he was talking to God and how he says that he can't wait for death so he could separate himself from flesh. How can I explain to somebody that you're never going to be perfect? You're always going to fail God, but yet you're still going to be good enough to go to heaven. That, I understand, I understand the term of good news now because like good news you're a piece of garbage, mm-hmm. yet you're still able to come here. Mm-hmm. How do I teach a man to believe that when I can't even believe it myself? You bet. Good question, George. I'd like you to read Romans chapter 7, where the Apostle Paul says, the good that I want to do, I don't do. The evil that I don't want to do, I do. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ. Where's the line? Where's the line? You see so many people that are, there's a there's a certain person that goes, well, God made me this way, right. and I'm still gonna love God. Right. And then you have a guy that goes like me, like, oh, I know I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, and I don't do it. But when no one's looking, I do it sometimes. Okay, so we've, we've been given the spiritual discipline. First of all, you repent. Repentance is not whitewashing and saying, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Repentance is not blaming, oh, it's their fault. Repentance is not self-pity. Oh gosh, I'm just a loser. I'm no good. And just drowning myself in self-pity. And repentance is not self-flagellation. Beat up on Cliff, because he's such a loser. Repentance is, God has made me in his image. I've made some irresponsible decisions. Lord Jesus, please forgive me. 